Hi, and today we are going to work out on some recycle bypass and purge problems. So basically, why there is the need of recycle and purge in chemical industries? So we need to recycle our product because if we get insufficient insufficient conversion of a reactant then we need to recycle the stream again and we need to mix that stream with the feed and we need purge stream because if there is suppose some amount of inerts are going inside the reactor along with the feed and this purge will not react in the reactor and come as it is in the product and if we get the insufficient conversion then we recycle the whole stream and mix that stream with the feed and in this manner the purge the inerts will add and add and they will create a problem in the reactor so we need a purge stream to remove the inerts from this system so we add here purge stream to remove the inerts okay so let's work out on this problem we are here we have the 100 moles per hour of feed entering and the reactor is a gives b and the conversion of the reactant is 10 percent and here we have a separator here we have pure b and here we have pure a now what we are gonna do is here we have to find what is r that is the recycle ratio so here what we are gonna do is first step is to find the moles entering into the reactor here the moles entering into the reactor is 100 moles per hour plus and here what we need to do is here we have pure A so this will be R so the moles which are entering to the reactor are 100 moles per hour plus R moles per hour and now we know that the definition of conversion so this will be our step 2 so conversion is moles reacted by moles fed so what we are gonna do is here we have a conversion of 10% which means 0 0.10 and moles reacted divided by the moles fed are 100 plus R so we have moles reacted as 100 plus R times 0 0.10 so moles unreacted will be equal to 100 plus R times 0 0.90 and this moles unreacted will be equal to R and as this is pure A so this will be only R and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this values in a calculator so 100 plus R times 0 0.90 is equal to R so R will be equal to 900 moles per hour and if we want to calculate the moles per hour of B produced so from the reaction it is very clear that when one mole of A is reacted this will give one mole of B and here in this system the moles of A reacted are 100 plus R times 0 0.10 so this should be equal to the moles of B produced so here the moles of B produced are 100 plus 
of R is 900 times 0 0.10 so this is 100 moles per hour of B so now let's take our second example so this is an example which is very similar to previous one but only the conversion is increased to 20 percent and in this case if we calculate the total moles of the species entering into the reactor is so entering moles are 100 plus r and we have 20 percent of the conversion so conversion is moles reacted by moles fed so 0 0.20 is equal to moles reacted divided by the moles which are fed are 100 plus r so moles reacted are 0 0.20 times 100 plus r and moles which are unreacted are 0 0.80 times 100 plus r and this is gonna be equal to uh, r so if you find the recycle ratio it should be 0 0.80 inside the bracket 100 plus r is equal to r so our recycle ratio will be 400 moles per hour. So from these two examples it is very clear that in the first example the per pass conversion was 10% and the recycle ratio was something 900 moles per hour and here as the conversion is increased to 20% and we got the recycle ratio as 400 moles per hour and from these two results it is very clear that as the conversion of the reactant is increased the recycle ratio is gonna decrease so let's take our third example and here we have a purge stream so the purge stream has the composition of 10 mole percent of inherts and 90 mole percent of A and in the feed we have 99% of A and 1% of inherts and the per pass conversion of the reactor is 20% here we have a separator and here we have a pure B and we are asked to find what is the recycle ratio R and the purge P in this case so the moles of A entering to the reactor will be 99 plus this stream will have an equal composition of the purge stream so here we have 0 0.90 times r which is entering and now what we are going to do is we know that conversion is equal to moles reacted by moles fed so conversion we have 20% which is equal to moles reacted divided by the moles fed are 99 plus 0 0.90 R so moles reacted are 0 0.20 times 99 plus 0 0.90 times R and moles unreacted are 0 0.80 times 99 plus <coughs> 0 0.90 r and this moles which are unreacted will be equal to 0 0.90 times r plus p and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna calculate p by by taking the oral material balance for inherts so if we take the oral material balance for inherts then we'll get 
1 over 100 times 100 in the feed which will be equal to here we have pure B so no inverse will be there then this will be 10 upon 100 times P so P will be equal to 1 is equal to 0 0.10 into P so P will be equal to 10 moles if you put the value of P in this equation then we'll get 0 0.80 set the bracket 99 plus 0 0.90 times R which is equal to 0 0.90 inside the bracket R plus 10 so R the recycle ratio R is 390 moles and if we wish to calculate the moles of B produced so from the reaction it is very clear that one mole of A when reacted gives one mole of B so here the moles of A reacted we can find out here so we have 0.20 inside the bracket 99 plus 0 0.90 into 390 so the moles of B produced moles of B produced will be equal to 90 moles so let's take another example so here we have a similar example but the conversion now is increased to 20 percent now what we are gonna do is we are gonna find the moles of A entering the reactor and this will be equal to 99 plus 0.80 R since the this stream and uh, this stream will have same composition and now we know that conversion is equal to moles reacted divided by moles fed and here we have the conversion of 20 percent so 0 0.20 is equal to moles reacted divided by the moles fed are 99 plus 0 0.80 r so moles reacted will be equal to 0 0.20 times 99 plus 0 0.80 r and moles unreacted will be equal to 0 0.80 times 99 plus 0 0.80 times r and now this unreacted moles will be equal to 0 0.80 times r plus p and now what we are gonna do is by taking the oral material balance oral material balance for in hertz we are going to calculate p so this will be 1 upon 100 times 100 moles which will be equal to 20 upon 100 times P so this will be equal to it's equal to 0 0.20 times P so P is equal to 5 moles and now what we are gonna do is we are gonna put the value of P in this equation and we'll calculate what will be R so 0 0.80 Set the bracket 99 plus 0 0.80 times R, which will be equal to 0 0.80. Set the bracket R plus 5. So here we have R is equal to 470 moles. And now, if we are interested to calculate the moles of P produced, so, so from the reaction, it is very clear that one mole of A when reacted will give 
1 mole of B so we can calculate the moles of A reacted from this expression so this will be 0.20 inside the bracket 99 plus 0 0.80 into R is 470 so this will be equal to so 95 moles of B are produced so let's take another example and here we have a next example so we have 100 moles of feed entering which has 99% of A and 1% of inherts and the reaction is A gives 2 times B where the conversion is 20% and here we have a separator which will separate pure B and the purge plus the recycle stream. The purge stream has the composition of 20 mole percent of inert and 80 mole percent of A and the composition of the purge stream and recycle stream are same. So here first step we need to calculate the moles of A which are entering inside the reactor so this will be 99 plus 0.80 R these are entering and now we know that conversion is equal to moles reacted divided by moles fed so here we have conversion of 20% so moles reacted divided by moles fed are 99 plus 0 0.80 times R so moles reacted are 0 0.20 times 99 plus 0 0.80 times R so moles unreacted will be equal to 0 0.80 inside the bracket 99 plus 0 0.80 R which will be equal to 0 0.80 times R plus P and now we are going to take the material balance and find out purge P so by taking overall material balance on purge stream so we get 1 upon 100 times 100 which will be equal to 20 upon 100 times P so here we have P is equal to so 1 is equal to 0 0.20 into P so P is 5 moles and if you put this P into this equation then we'll get R so R will be equal to 0 0.80 set the bracket 99 plus 0 0.80 times R which will be equal to 0 0.80 inside the bracket R plus 5 so we'll get R as 470 moles and now if we are interested in calculating the moles of B produced so from the reaction it is very clear that 1 moles of A when reacted will give Two moles of B so we can find the moles of A reacted from this equation so we have 0 0.20 inside the bracket 99 plus 0 0.80 into R is 470 so when 95 moles of A is reacted this will give rise to how many moles of B so this will be 95 times 2 so moles of B produced will be equal to 190 moles